So tomorrow's Valentine's Day and in the spirit of love, I thought I would do a video, um, just flash back to my wedding day for a little dress reveal. Do want to warn you, this could be quite scandalous. So women, wives, sisters, you may want to check this video out before allowing the men to see it because you know they're such visual creatures. Um, and this is, uh, I mean, this is pretty bad. I had someone message me today and say that um, they heard the way that I, that people talked about my dress, like so intensely, they wanted to avoid that. And so they just added straps to their wedding dress um, because of the way people are talking about, we're talking about what you're about to see. So keep watching at your own discretion, but here we go. There it is. There it is, guys. Look at that. Just unrighteous, immodest, shameful. And um, honestly, you can tell I didn't get any advice about this dress. Actually, I did get some advice, but I guess it wasn't from the right people. Anyway, here's the picture that my husband decided to use as his profile picture uh, right after our wedding. And that women's ministry leader said about this one that it was cute and funny, but still kind of bad. And I should encourage him to take it down. I know this is pretty crude, maybe even a little steamy. So if you just need to go ahead and pause and go get a, a glass of ice water, or take a hot shower, I understand. But you know, this was still toward the beginning of the day, so the dress hadn't really weighed itself down yet. So let me show you a picture of later, where I was a little more exposed, um, and maybe why there was such an outrage. Because, I mean, it does get more scandalous, to be fair. So here it is, guys. This is it. Um, and... I mean, it, it, it's really bad, and I just must apologize to any young women who were looking to me as a role model. I've clearly failed them. Um, so, yeah, that this this was it. This is the big scandal. And if you can't see what the big deal is here, let me help you. Look at it! Look! The scandal! The immodesty! The indecency, all right there, that right there is, um, you know, why I was talked to and talked about hither and yon. I was a cautionary tale for ICOC brides, especially Hampton Roads. So, um, yeah, this right here, this dress, this cleavage is the reason why the women's ministry leader told me I needed to take down all of my wedding photos and um she also let me know that there was an elder's wife who contacted her to ask her to take down the photo the one or two photos she had put up of me um because they were just so indecent and this lovely woman right here in the middle her name is nina she is such a beautiful soul i met her when i was 18 she was my dorm director at the wonderful Hampton University, and she actually tried to feel me out and warn me that I may be in a cult, but I was brainwashed and, you know, just was kind of defensive, and she was like, all right, if you like it, I love it. Um, so she tried to warn me. But we've stayed in touch over the years. She sang at my wedding. She has the voice of an angel and she's so talented in so many respects. I just love her and um, I appreciate that act of love where she tried to protect me in this way where some things seemed off. I just was not unfortunately in a place to be able to hear it. So anyone who is you know, not part of this organization. If you're watching these videos um, and you meet someone who is in a situation like this, I want to encourage you to fight for um, <laughs> the person entangled. And the more I research different cults, there's a lot of things that are just kind of copy and paste. They're just called different things. So um, yeah, please protect your loved ones. 
But anyway, this is it. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, whatever you do, if you're trying to stay in the good graces of the ICOC, don't get a dress like this. Make sure to hit subscribe, turn those notifications on, and share this video with any brides that you would like to help avoid eternal shame.